Hello crafters, this is Mai with All Things Were Created. Today we are going to assemble our birthday treat box container. As you can see, I have all of my pieces, they are cut out, I have them lined up here on my table and they are ready for gluing. I will be using my art glitter glue for most of my gluing here. I will also be using my bone folder as well to make sure that my score lines are sharp and crisp. So with that, let's get started right away. I'm gonna start with the base of my box here. And as you can see, hopefully, <laughs> um, you can see some of my score lines here. I'm gonna be folding alongside those score lines. So I'm gonna start with this one here at the edge. And then I'm gonna use my bone folder and really just come in and crease down those score lines and make sure that they are sharp and crisp. So I'm gonna kind of go back and forth here. Again, just right on top of those score lines and making sure that I'm getting them all. I'm gonna stretch this back out now. And again, just making sure that everything is sharp and crisp. You can probably hear my bone folder as it's scraping along my table. I wanna make sure that I'm not getting them off in any way. That one kind of looks like it might be. I'm hoping not. <laughs> um, but I'm just getting them all right there on the score lines. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to fold this one here. And then I also wanna make sure that the tabs or getting the score line or getting use of the bone folder as well. Now, the reason why we really wanna make sure that all of the score lines are nice and sharp and crisp is because we wanna make sure that they're all gonna line up correctly. Because if they don't, if they're off just a little bit, the container may not take shape correctly. So I only have three more to go. And so again, just making sure that I'm getting them all. And then there's the last one. Okay, so I'm just gonna open them all back up here a little bit. And then I'm going to allow all of these to kind of fold inward here. Okay, so now we're ready for gluing. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue right to the base of the tab. And what you want to do as you begin is really just make sure that you're getting it lined up right along the edge and you want to make sure that it's gluing there. So let me flip it this way so you can see. It's right along the edge here and it's on the inside as well. So we're going to do this all the way around to make sure that again everything is lining up. So what you can't see here is I have my finger on this side. I'm making sure that it's flush, meaning that this part and the base of the, uh, is it an octagon? I think so. Um, the base there, they're all lining up correctly. So again, I'm coming this way and just making sure that everything is lining up. So I could probably speed this one up, but I'm really not going to because it won't take too, too long here. But I'm just taking my time to make sure that it's all lining up there. All right, so I'm gonna keep going. You do wanna make sure too when you're doing this part that you're really just going one at a time. You don't wanna rush to get it completed because that's how you might end up making a mistake or it might get off just a tab there. All right. So now that I'm coming towards the last two, what I wanna do is kind of make sure that everything is going to go more inward as I glue this last part. So I'm gonna add the glue there again and then just pressing it down right there on the inside. And, okay. 
And then I'm gonna add the glue to the last tab right here. And then again, just making sure that it's all lining up. I'm pushing it on the inside right here. And then I'm gonna add the glue along this part of the tab. And then I'm going to, again, make sure that the edges are lining up and meeting. Okay, and so that was it. So that's pretty much the hardest part of this one here. And what I will now do is I have the sides here and this is where you can really get creative. You can get creative if you want to just leave the container like this, whether it's white or if you had used a um, pattern cardstock, or you can get creative by gluing on these extra pieces here to add a pattern to your container. So I'm going to do mine every other shade here of pink. So when I um, originally cut it, I had originally just cut one color and I was going to keep it with the pink and the white, but then I thought, well, it would be more fun <laughs> to go ahead and um, make them two-toned with two different shades of pink. So all I'm going to do here is now I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the white part of the box, and then I'm just going to line up the shape here right on top of the side. And I'm going to do this now all the way around, kind of alternating my colors. So that way I'm creating a pattern. So when you're doing this part too, you do kind of want to make sure you're taking your time, that you're not going too fast, that you're getting the glue all the way around the edge and in the center because you want to make sure that the paper will be secure and that it doesn't um, come up in any way. And you want to make sure that the alignment is right. And you want to just keep going with your pattern all the way around. So you could have really a lot of fun again as well with this part here in choosing different types of pattern cardstock or you could do as I'm doing and just change the pattern by just using different shades of the same color or even mix and matching. Like if you wanted to do yellow and green, that would be fun or orange and um, blue. There's lots of ways to do it. I just want to make sure I'm not messing up my pattern here. All right, so three more again to go. And again, I'm just laying them all right out. If you have any glue seeping through, that's okay. Just wipe it away. It'll be fine. And then, so this was a special request, <laughs> this design. Um, so I hope that you like it, Lisa. <laughs> and then here for the last one. There we go. All right. Okay. So that's it. So it just adds a little fun pattern to the outside while the, while the inside is still um, white. Now, Again, when you have the inside here, you can see the tabs that are at the bottom from where we glued it. What you can do is you can take the other hexagon here and you can put it on the inside just to kind of cover up those tabs. This is a personal choice option. You don't have to do it, but it's there if you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and add mine. And All I'm doing is just kind of putting it and eyeballing it right in the center, but it's a little hard because I don't wanna to get too much in my camera. Let me see if I can move it with my weeding tool. Oh, I think it dried. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so the next step that you want to do is, if you want, you can take yours and fill it now with some treats. 
So I'm gonna do that here. I just picked up some candies at my local dollar and a quarter store. So I'm gonna leave those in there just like that. And I also included a, whoops, topper for you. And what I did was I also went back and I duplicated mine, but you don't have to duplicate it. What you need though are bamboo skewers. So I have this one here, it's about six inches, and then this one is just a little bit shorter. You can decide at the length that you want yours to go, but what we're going to do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna glue this topper onto it and then put it inside here so it just kind of adds a um, sentiment to the container if you wanted to gift it. So what I'm going to do now though is, I'm actually gonna use the smaller one. So this one is six inches in length, and if I stick it all the way to the bottom, you can kind of see the height of it. It's probably about three inches still from the top there. This one's a little bit shorter. My guess is it's about four inches here. If you just wanted to put it in there a little bit because you wanted the topper to come down a little bit closer to the top, you could do that as well by using a smaller one. Um, I think I might actually go with the one that's six inches here just because I know that it's there at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my toppers here, I'm gonna to flip it over and I'm gonna put it right here towards the bottom. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue. So, there's that. And then I'm just gonna roll this right in the center there. Then what I, else I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue again and I'm just going to kind of come along and add some of my glue here to the paper. Now, if you wanted to, you didn't have to print it out twice or cut this one out twice. You could have left it just as it is and stuck it in there just like that. It would have been fine. But I thought that I would go ahead and make mine have a back. And all you need to do is just really line it up right on top of each other and then press it down. So you can see mine there. And all that's gonna do is hide the back of the bamboo skewer. It's just a personal preference. You don't have to do this part. You could just use the one, it's fine. <laughs> It's just, like I said, personal preference. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna place it inside there like that. I might need to add a little bit more candy in here. I think I'm going to. Just to kind of make it a little bit more full and to kind of keep it from moving around so much, that looks good. And I also went ahead, so we're gonna do a little bit more. I also went ahead and I cut out some cellophane. So I have mine here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna take my container, stick it right in the center. And then I'm gonna take my cellophane and just kind of seal it up here like this. So you probably hear a lot of the crinkling. <laughs> And I also have a little white ribbon. And I'm going to just tie it into a little knot. This little part's coming out. So let me try to shift it just a little bit. I've got mine on an angle. So take two. <laughs> and Put it a bit more like that. And then I'm going to take my ribbon, I'm going to tie it into a knot. And then I'm going to make it into a bow. 
So I'm just kind of tying it like how I would tie my shoe here. It's a little uneven, but I'm gonna put this one in the back there. And then you can take your fabric scissors and kind of snip the ends to make it pretty. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and happy crafting.